Um, Matt, why why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? There's like snow everywhere. My, my flip-flops are not conducive to this situation. Well, <laughs> here we are again. Matt and I have decided to come out apparently on the coldest day of the year. Um, on the coldest day of the year in California. Uh, I'm in flip-flops. Uh, Matt is... Cold. Cold. I'm cold. Uh, I don't know why we're here <laughs> other than this is going to be absolutely an amazing adventure. I literally have like 10 pounds in just layers. Uh, I'm heavier than I ever have been carrying weight. Uh, myself also because it's the holidays. Uh, but also my backpack is very heavy too. So it's going to be a pretty fun one this time. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, there is snow everywhere. And this is at the trailhead. And this is at the trailhead and we're going up. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll see how that all works out today. I forgot how to put on my backpack. <laughs> Holy smokes. Would have been nice to unclip this uh, pouch. <laughs> Bro, why are we doing this? <laughs> this is this is the stuff that only East Coasters do. Rookie backpacker. I'm gonna change my channel name. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's very cold. I mean, I'm excited. Don't get me wrong, but I'm also terrified because uh, you know us uh, Californians, we're not used to this stuff. So I only know like one dude that's like, or maybe like two, two dudes that are like legit mountain guys that live for this kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see how everything goes. We just want to fit in. <laughs> yeah, we just want to fit in with the cool kids. I mean, that's, that's why I started this YouTube channel. <laughs> it's almost like as if we forgot how to backpack entirely. That's how it's been going this morning for us. Uh, just getting stuff. Uh, sliding. Yeah, sliding around, getting our gear together. But uh, we're gonna have a good time, or at least we're gonna, you know, give it a go. Give it the old college try, so. Oh, brother, here we go again with the giant footprints, huh? Dude, that dog from, uh, from the Dobbs Trail last year. There's no claws in that one. Yeah, good point, no claws in that one. So here we go, size size 13 shoe, and that's a uh, that's a uh, track. Call it what you want, big dog, big bear. <laughs> it's some kind of animal. I'm sure your viewers will let you know. Yeah. Let's get that out of it's just a coyote. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chihuahua. Well, we made it so far to the sign. Are we gonna keep going further? I think so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to create so much doubt. <laughs> Seriously, what's my problem? I think I, I think I just have a lot of fears. We can go head back and go to the pizza place. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that sounds. Get some pizza. That sounds like a plan. Pizza and soda pop. Wow, I feel like a complete loser now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but here we are. We uh, we started at the Forest Sea Creek uh, trailhead. What the heck was that sound? I don't know. 
Oh man. <laughs> well, we started at the Forest Sea Creek Trailhead. Oh, it's a woodpecker. Okay. We started at the Forest Sea Creek Trailhead. Let's try to take three. We started at the Forest Sea Creek Trailhead. This is the place where we were at the last time. Um, yeah, I think pretty much the last time I did a backpacking trip, I think. Yeah, it's uh, uh, Labor Day weekend. Yeah, Labor Day weekend. This is where we went uh, up and over San Gorgonio. Um, it will probably one of the most brutal brutal hikes I've ever been on, but uh, we're gonna do a lot easier thing uh, this time We're gonna be going to John's Meadow. Uh, this is my first time ever going to John's Meadow uh, I'm excited to see it. It's it's a pretty chill uh, hike to get over there, you know, no pun intended But um, yeah, we're gonna be over there. We're gonna stay the night cook up some uh, Yummy tasty food try to do a little bit of a day hike once we get there uh, if we're feeling it and yeah Wow, this trail is absolutely amazing here. It's so beautiful. I mean, the snow is just everywhere. We've only got a little bit more to go. Matt was saying we're almost per we're almost there. And uh, yeah, it's just been great. There's uh, patches over here where the uh, snow goes away in the sun. And then, uh, yeah, you go back into the shade. And uh, yeah, we've been getting uh, we certainly haven't post hold, but there is definitely a lot of snow out here in uh, in some areas. So Absolutely gorgeous hike gorgeous day So glad I'm out here. All right, here. We are we got a spring. That we're gonna be crossing Right over there and then continuing on up the trail, but yeah, we just went through a sunny section which felt great and now we're in the shady uh, shady spot and boy what a difference in temperature, hey Matt? Yeah, it gets pretty cold for all these 10 <laughs> degrees drop. Easily. Huge difference, so yeah, tonight should be pretty fun. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I'm glad you gave me those hand warmers. Oh, so. man. Yeah, I threw mine. Grab all? I oh, grabbed I the two, them. yeah, I grabbed the two that you gave I me. Them. Some in the back too. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Woo. that was a close <laughs> one. <laughs> Man, look at this, this tree overhang, yikes. Dude, it's so gorgeous up here. Oh my goodness. Head of uh, Limber Pine Spring right there. Yep. Good look, stuff. Lookout point. Yeah, yeah, it is. This side looks like crap. But this side, oh my goodness. We're at the Forty Creek right now. We're about to cross the creek and uh, continue on with the trail. Matt's gonna have to show me where we cross because uh, yeah, I guess uh, we cross right over there. And continue on the trail. And we should be at John's Meadow in, uh, in no time. All right, so we are here finally at uh, at uh, John's Meadow, and we cleared out our area for our uh, two tents. We're actually rocking the same exact tent, dude. We're twinning it this time. We both have the exact same Copper Spur HVUL1. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. We're twinning it. <laughs> Except for everyone on my video, exactly. But yeah, we got our pads. Uh, our uh, tent area is uh, all set to go, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get our tent set up and then probably relax. So Matt, what happened on the way up here? I fell in a hole. Bro, that was legit scary. The creek. Bro, last time we went out, dude, the freaking camera fell into the drink, and now you <laughs> fell into the drink. I can't get around creeks, man. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Next thing's gonna happen is I'm gonna probably end up falling in the drink. Yeah, I think there's video of that. Yeah, yeah, no, I think Ultralight Backpackers got the, got the uh, proof. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to have some coffee. Let's see if the amicus is gonna actually work. Oh, come on. All 
All right, so we're here at the uh, uh, John's Meadow. We're having a really good time, man. There is snow everywhere, without a doubt. <laughs> we, we had to clear a pad, uh, we had to clear a, an area, like I showed you guys earlier, but uh, yeah, man, we were just talking about, kind of laughing to ourselves here that the, the sun goes down really soon here, and we're probably gonna have about 15 hours of darkness. So that's gonna be a cold, cold night, but um, I'm full of layers this time. I got some hand warmers, Matt hooked me up with some hand warmers, and um, yeah, I definitely got enough food, so I got enough <laughs> fuel to burn, in a sense, to, to keep my body warm, but yeah, I was telling Matt, dude, if I can't stay warm with all the layers I brought, with the, with the brick of layers that I brought, uh, there's just no hope for me uh, <laughs> to be able to stay uh, warm on the trail, but uh, it's going to be a pretty fun night, going to be super interesting. Uh, as it gets cooler down here, I'm going to try out the copper spur tonight. I'm going to set that up here real soon. I'm trying to give the uh, the area that I cleared uh, some time to dry if it can. The sun was hitting it earlier. But we're going to we're gonna brave this cold tonight. And uh, it's going to be great. Oh man, some tree just peed on my camera. Sheesh. Oh man, that's good water. Yeah. Good stuff out here. We're almost dry over here. Well, who am I kidding? It's gonna be wet. I'm gonna to have to set up on a on a wet uh, ground, but that's okay. Well, uh, we're gonna make it work. All right, so here we are. This is my home away from home tonight. My uh, Copper Spur HVUL1, and I got the bike packing uh, floor print, and uh, that's gonna be really nice. I can go ahead and set some stuff on there. I can even step out onto that thing without really too much worry. Uh, about getting my feet wet or anything like that or uh, getting too dirty. I mean, I already got some crud in there, but uh, I'll also be able to brush that away eventually. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give this thing a go. And like I said earlier, Matt and I were twins in it. He's got the literally the exact same tent with the exact same floor print. But it's uh, it's going to work out well for this uh, for this uh, snowy uh, snowy weather. So good stuff. Real excited to use this tent tonight. That thing right there is my brick of layers. That is tons and tons of layers for tonight stuffed in there. It, this is the reality. If I cannot stay warm with what I brought with me, there is just literally no hope for me to be warm out here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start layering up. I already feel the cold, the sun's pretty much going down and uh, uh, Matt was saying it. Yeah, it's 241, man, and the sun's already going down. So one bit of uh, one bit of good news is Anthony is actually coming out here. He's going to spend the night out here with us too. He's on his way, um, and uh, he should get here right as the sun is going down. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun, man. We're going to have another guy out here, and uh, yeah, we're gonna all all three of us. Ooh, yeah, my nose is running. All three of us, we're gonna we're gonna freeze our butts off out here. So it should be pretty good. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, sharing size. Whatever. That's all for me. All right, well, I'm starting to layer up. Grandma Farisian is uh, <laughs> is putting on <laughs> her layers, and we're getting warm. We're staying warm. I, I got a new system. It's a little heavy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, might be a little bit overkill for summer, but out here right now, I'm doing great so far. Matt is staying warm no matter what he does. I've never seen this guy cold, not even once. And uh, yeah, I want to be more like I him. Have two fleeces on though. Yeah, I, I, I. Okay, so <laughs> I have one more layer yet to add to my collection of layers that I have here. So let's go through the layers. I have two 32 degree heat Costco base uh, layers. I've got my Columbia shirt on. After that, I've got my shirt that I hiked in it's another layer that uh, kind of that I use to regulate temperature but again it's just another layer on top of that I have my um, EE wind uh, shirt and then I have my torrid which I'm wearing right now and then on top of this I'll have a fleece and a shell kind of like a, a system like a jacket that I'll put on top of that and that will cap off all the layers for here I also have like a, a fleece balaclava that can add to this neck gaiter and each one of my jackets has a hood on it so I can just keep hooding everything up dude and, and my head should stay warm. For my bottoms here, 
I got my shorts on underneath. I got my Torre Apex pants and I got two 32 degree heat Costco uh, tights on and I got my gaiters on over there as you can see So dude, it, like I said if this system doesn't keep me warm tonight, dude There is no hope for me for backpacking and staying warm. So hopefully it works out There you go Untouched snow. We got some tracks over here. Let's see. Let me uh, stop down a bit. Can you see those tracks right there? Let's see if I zoom in a bit. There you go. We got some tracks over here. So pretty much only some animals been around here. But check this out, dude. I want to show you guys this thing. Look at this shelter over here. Somebody built this at some point. How interesting is this? I mean. Hey, throw some leaves on there and, you know, not that, actually, throw some leaves on there. Where are you going to find some leaves around here? Yeah. Go well, check that out. A little shelter in there. Zoom out a bit. <clears throat> yeah, let's open up animals are, uh, are in there. It looks like they got some animal tracks in there. I wonder if any... Hey! Matt! There's like animal tracks in this shelter here. What was that? Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Might get some... Might get some animal activity tonight. <laughs> no. It, it, uh... Like, I'll be honest with you, what it looks like to me, it looks like cat tracks. But I, I also don't know very much about tracks either, so. What's your take? What do you think? Something pretty small. Yeah. Like a squirrel? Wait. Oh, now you see what I'm talking about, right? Over here? Yeah. That's what I was saying. It kind of looks like cat tracks, doesn't it? Or am I wrong? Yeah, but not a... It's probably a... That's more like the size of maybe a... Like a small mountain lion or a bobcat. Right on. Oh, the demon cat. My favorite cat. The other, like the... Like, more poked in, like, you know what it is, Steve? You think it's I'm a dog? Your day. What? It's the dripping from the snow. You think so? Yes. Hmm. Well, there you go. I'd much rather, dude, look, between you and I, I'd much rather have the dripping from the snow than have it be some kind of a bobcat or some kind of a demon the, cat. The, the, the Bro, do not down. move. Do not move. Move forward. Dude, you got like a branch. It was like literally a, an inch from like your head stabbing you. Wow, dude, that was close. Yeah, it just looked like they were, the, the indentations were too vertical. Mm -hmm. There wasn't much of a... Yeah, you know, no, that makes that makes sense. Good assessment. But yeah. Yeah, but how about that, dude? Somebody put this thing together out here. And, uh, yeah, it's been standing for a bit. So that's a small animal. Rabbit, maybe, or... Yeah, they're close together, good point. Well, bro, literally, if I don't have friends that that are out here with me, I'm gonna end up dying in the forest. I know nothing of the forest. I know nothing of tracks. So, thank goodness for Matt. Yeah, Matt's saying we got 30 minutes until sunset. Here's our camp right over here. We uh, we cleared a spot for Anthony. He should hopefully be here pretty soon. He's gonna bring his duplex. But uh, yeah, having fun, man. I'm gonna have dinner soon. I'm gonna have some more coffee. And uh, probably have dinner number two later. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Yeah, yeah, dinner number two? How did that go? Remember at the. <laughs> Remember that at Ontario Peak? Dinner number two did not go over too well for all of us. Real quick before the sun goes down, um, I brought my Copper Spur HVUL1 and I have my uh, 
my Z-Pax quilt, my five degree quilt, and I have my X-Therm for tonight. Over there you can see it, the gray. And I have my pillow somewhere. I, I got the Trekology pillow again. So far that seems to be working out pretty well for me. But uh, yeah, that's my setup for tonight. I brought on this trip, I brought the ULA Catalyst, man. It handled the weight beautifully. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier with, uh, with the result. I, I honestly thought it was gonna suffer a little bit, but it almost seemed like the more weight I threw in it, the more firm it got, and just, yeah, I threw it on and it was, it was exceptional. I think Matt, Matt was running almost, how many pounds did you say? I'd say probably close to 35. 35 pounds, no problem, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. good stuff, dude. Okay, so we're trying to figure out, figure out about, about how far Anthony could be at this point. He should, technically he should have gotten at the trailhead right around 3.30, it's 4.30 now, so we're thinking he's at least halfway. My intuition tells me that he's still gonna roll in here at about six, so that puts him about, what, two? Uh, That's an hour and a half. Yeah, in about an hour and a half, I think he's gonna I roll say in. he'll be here in 45 minutes. You say 45 minutes, I say an hour and a half, so. 45 minutes would be 5.15-ish. Okay, so there you go. Five. Yeah, that's, that's, five. that's right. 20, 20. Right on. We got a couple other people that came in. They're way down over there. They're playing music. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, so much for having a nice quiet forest. No, dude, I am an old man. I, I have no problem. <laughs> I have no problem with that. And you know what? I, I don't appreciate... like an old man. I do get cold like an old man, like an old lady. I don't appreciate that. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. So. All right. We're, we're having a, a little bit of a discussion here and an exchange of ideas. Matt has the map and the map alleges, and this is why I don't think, okay, when we went last time, when we went up and over the beast, dude, apparently we had only walked about, uh, according to the map, we had only walked what? It was like 15 miles. 15 miles, dude. That was the longest 15 miles in all of human history. Okay. I don't believe it was 15 miles or whatever. Maybe we thought it was 13 miles and it was actually 15 or whatever it was. All I know is that I was destroyed to a level that I had not been destroyed to, uh, destroyed at in a very long time. So now here we go back to the infamous map that alleges from, from the, the area that we were at where we had the split, right? From the split, it says 2.7 to here. BS. There is no way that was 2.7, dude. That was maybe like a smidge over two miles max like a smidge over two miles mm -hmm. yeah dude so it's time it says, to get in it says one way it's it's i've had it but i've clocked it though it says one way would be 3.1 one way total to here from trailhead so 6.2 total would be the round trip but i've had my my gps clock it at like eight yeah i don't know I don't know. Maybe you did a lot of walking in between or something. Yeah, probably. Did a lot of walking back and forth to your camera. <laughs> Just walking in circles at camp. <laughs> quite possibly. We've been walking in circles for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, it's gotten so bad that we've been standing in one area that I had to clear an area because I was starting to create ice over here and I was slipping. So yeah, maybe we are just kind of standing around and walking in circles and whatnot. Okay, okay. Maybe the map is right. It might be right. Never I mind. Know. I should have never filmed this, shouldn't I? <laughs> Better than my my assessment. Oh, here you go. Here comes Anthony. That's got to be a world record time, bro. <laughs> bro, the, dude, he called it, man. He said you would be here about this time. I said you were going to be here a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, good right. stuff, man. What's up, dude? Uh, bro, you didn't, breath, bro. bro, you didn't sweat on the way over here, did you? <sighs> Not a, no, a yeah, drop. sweat's the enemy right now. So, <sighs> All right, dude, awesome. What's up, guys? What's up, dude? Hello. Good to see you. You too, brother. Look who just showed up. Anthony. And I know we have the bet going here, and I said he would he be here about 520-ish. Pay up, baby. And here he is. So. Yeah. No, Matt was right, dude. You win, bro. <sighs> wow. Thank you, guys. How was it, dude? Yeah. No, that no problem. That was kind of sketchy, dude. Towards the end, when the sun was creeping down, I uh, took like a little false trail right at the creek there, and I was like, huh. Is yeah, that right? yeah, we had to right bushwhack here, like, it a little bit through there too, yeah, dude. I, I fell down there. Yeah, yeah. I was stomping around and I was going, this ain't right. So I pulled out my light, looking around, and I was like, this ain't doing jack crap. No, Matt fell, fell like in. Upwards.
Yeah, dude, it was really scary. I was like, the first thing I said was like, dude, you didn't break your leg, did you? Yeah, it was it was sketchy, dude. So yeah, it was sketchy coming up here. Yeah, well, um, glad you're here, man. Yeah, I'm glad you yeah. came, man. For yeah, sure. dude. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us, bro. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna make ourselves some coffee here real quick, and soon enough we're gonna be making some dinner. Ooh. Oh yeah, that is gonna sit very, very well. It is pretty doggone cold right now, right around 30-ish degrees, maybe a little bit less. But uh, yeah, we're still having a great time here. Make it even better with some coffee. All right, Anthony, what do you got there? What are you making? Uh, I got a little miso soup mix that uh, Maddie over here showed me. I put very two nice. packets in there. <clears throat> to me it's better than coffee at night and uh, just gonna warm myself up a bit yeah dude I need to get some of that miso soup man it seems like stuff. you guys are always always making something that involves miso and I'm the only thing I'm doing is misoing out oh heck yeah dude that's gonna be opening to the video <laughs> all right so we survived the night here we are Having a little coffee con leche. Breakfast of champions, baby. Breakfast of champions, Jim. Slim Jim. <laughs> Matt's gonna. They're not even waiting around for me, man. I'm still packing up. Matt's gonna make some stuff too. I just finished my my coffee con leche, right here. Woo, buddy. I feel like Shug right now out in the uh, out in the snow, except for I don't use a hammock, and it wasn't as cold as it is when Shug goes. So never mind. We have left our camp and we're hiking out now. It's pretty well snowed over all over here. This is what we came in on uh, yesterday. We got some patches of, uh, of clear trail. Like back over there, there's like a little small section, but yeah, this has been, uh, this has been something else. First winter, like legit winter hike. Yeah. And uh, overnight for all three of us. Dude, that was a blast. I can't wait to do it again. Yeah. dude <laughs> this is crazy dude <laughs> So we're finally done with our adventure here. We, uh, we made it, we survived the night, we survived the trail. Now it's time to go get some breakfast and uh, gain back all the calories that I lost on this trip. So I don't wanna get my, I don't wanna be getting too dangerously thin. That'd be horrible. So, but anyway, hope you all had a good time like we did. Bye.